chill. Hello, marvelous legends. Welcome back to Model Behavior. This is David here, of course, and I have a knife. You know what that means. It's time for another unboxing video. I've been working at the pub all day. I came home exhausted, and what did I find? A whole stack of boxes. So it's all been worthwhile. It's nice when you can work for hours and hours and hours, and then as soon as you get home, you see the reason for why you work. You know, some people, they get back to find the, their wife or their children, and they're like, oh, that's why I do it. And I get home, and I find these. And isn't that what it's really all about? Yeah. I think, I think I know, I think I know. So, we have three cardboard boxes of very random figures and I'm excited to share these with you because this is gonna be a fun little unboxing because it's an odd assortment, but I have reasons for them. So, without further ado, I've got, I've got Bullseye here because this is my new sort of setup. Uh, I hope you like it, it's kind of cool. I got the, the mood lighting at the back and it feels a bit more intimate and I'm, it's night time here now so you only have the unnatural light rather than the sun glaring on me so you still get all of this shiny receding hairline forehead but at least it's consistent. So let's find out what's in the first box. Aha. This is from uh, a seller from one of the Marvel Legends groups and totally random, totally random figure. Like what on earth is this? Looks like, oh, can you see some distinguishing characteristics? Yeah, some very clear colors. But which version of this character? Yeah, of course, it's the Star Spangled Man with the plan, but I've already got 80th cap. So what do I need another cap for? Well, this isn't just cap, this is Cap Wolf. <laughs> Oh yeah. Now anyone who saw my top 10 figures might know that I had 80th anniversary cap on there. And one of my uh, viewers, he messaged back saying, hey, it's a decent figure, but it needs a few, mm, a few minor adjustments, a few, uh, shall we say, accoutrements. Well, that is why I've got Cat Wolf here. There's a couple of reasons. First of all, uh, it, it was Philip who gave me some really good advice. He said, what the 80th cap is lacking is the shoulder straps for a start. And I never really thought about it until I saw them and they were pointed out. I was like, oh, those, those really add a nice element to it, don't they? That makes a big, big difference. It's just something more tangible. There's something more going on there. So I'm like, okay, I want to get another Captain America anyway, because I've got 80th cap in my Avengers display and he's beautiful there, but one of my big, things that I really want to build is the Maximum Carnage display. I want Team Carnage and Team Spider-Man. So of course, Team Spider-Man has Captain America on it. So I kind of need Cap to pull double duty, all right? You know, he, he's got to be like, uh, you know, the, the Black Scorpion. He's got to be, he's got to be Ric Flair and he's got to put on a mask and be somebody else as well. So in this case, I got uh, Cap Wolf here because there's a few Captain Americas. I don't want to. I don't want to get the um, the Avengers now, Captain America because he's very distinctly modern. He's very distinctly Avengers now. I want 90s Cap. So with, without the bells and whistles, this is very very 90s Cap. I mean, gosh, with, with the Cap Wolf head, he's super 90s. But I've never actually read that story, so I don't really have too much interest in it. I haven't even looked at this figure properly myself yet. I've been showing you guys, and gosh, there's. There's more to this head than I was kind of expecting. I've only ever seen it in, in, in pictures, but there's nice detail, the way the mask is ripped away with the ears sticking out. He's got some very nice paintwork like around the eyes and, and, and the mouth. It's, it's got some good details there. He, act <laughs> he actually looks like, uh, for those of you who have watched The Mighty Boosh, yeah, he looks like the crack fox. <laughs> That's exactly what Captain America, cracked in America. He looks like the crack fox from the Mighty Boosh. And, hey, you, can, I, can you let me inside Avengers Mansion? I'm gonna hurt you real bad when I get inside. <laughs> what was that, Cap? Oh, nothing, just funny, funny sounds. <laughs> I'm gonna make you wear a dress and hurt you. <laughs> I love Mighty Boosh. So yeah, this is, this is a fun figure. Uh, I'm going to take the Cap Wolf head off. 
because I don't need, it's not a chronological Captain America display I've got, it's a chronological Spider-Man display. So you've got, he's got the, the shield on the back, which I twigged while making my top 10 figures, that that's what the hold is for. Genius over here. And yeah, you just slip the shoulder straps off. And of course, one I prepared earlier, We've got our 80th anniversary cap right here. Have you noticed the cadence in my voice? I'm trying to speak a little softer, trying to speak a little more chilled out. I have such a jackhammer stammer and kind of a scattershot delivery that I watched a few of my videos back and I'm like, it can be exhausting listening to me. So I'm trying to just, I'm trying to be more of a Bob Ross kind of a character, you know, it's like, uh, we'll just put a figure over there, and if it's the wrong figure, it, it doesn't matter because there's no such thing as wrong figures. Now then, here is 80th cap. Some other additions that I was recommended were to get the MCU Captain America shield. And I can see why, because there is more to that shield. It's got like nice detailing on it, like it fits together, like it's made out of metal. I can see why it is arguably a better shield, but the smooth, the smooth by Carlos Santana featuring Rob Thomas from Matchbox 20 smooth shield from the comics feels more comics to me. So even though the MCU shield is better, arguably, I feel it would, I would know it's out of place. Like Captain America is a man out of time, he'd have a shield that's out of place. Um, and also he suggested um, having the Falcon, oh no, the Eagle. Is it the Eagle or the Falcon? Uh, either way, there's a Toy Biz Falcon, so I guess it would be a Falcon. It's a bird, all right? It's like D from D Reynolds, it's a dumb bird. Either way, you can have, have that on his shoulder. Um, oh, and the saluting hand, and Cap Wolf does come with the saluting hand. So all of those accoutrements, I just like saying that word, all those accoutrements together make, make him the ultimate Cap. Not, not, not ultimate Cap. Not, do you think the A on my head stands for France? Cap, you remember that? I remember that line. These, these fit, I think, perfectly. It seems like they really fit snug on his shoulders. That's, that's nice. That's really, really nice. So, okay, so, so far so good. They, okay, I say they, they fit snug, but I might have to have a little, a little play around, but already that's adding, oh, I'll just pinch them. That's adding some nice, nice layers. I love layers to characters, layers with costumes. That's good. That's good, Philip. You knew what you were talking about. I didn't doubt you. But one thing I will say is that the, the, the saluting hand is nice. I don't know anything about American military or anything. That might shock you, but I don't. But I feel like when, when, when you salute, you, your feet have to be together. It's like, feet together, salute. And this figure doesn't stand with his feet perfectly together. He's, he's got what all those girls want. He's got thigh gap. He's got, yeah, thigh cap. Oh, I'm just I'm busting out all the puns tonight. He's got thigh cap. And so I feel like if he's saluting with his legs not, not perfectly together, I don't think it feels quite, quite right. So really, the only addition I need are the shoulder straps, for me, personally. Um, gosh, I think I've mixed up his shields now. Or are they identical? This one is a, is a lighter blue, so I think the lighter blue is with uh, Cap Wolf. I can, I can always watch this video back and double check, see, see what I did. I'm sure that's the case, though. So, all right, the, the straps are falling around all over the place now. He'll be fine once he's posed, but in the meantime, I gotta be very careful not to have him just fall and flip, flop and fly all over the place. But that looks great. I'm very, very happy with that. Now then, we also have uh, the pointing. Catwolf comes with a pointing finger. And I'm like, I'm not really sure sort of what that's for. It's for, I guess it's like, we need you. Like Uncle Sam, very American recruitment video. America needs you. So I'm gonna pop his head off because this is the last time I'm gonna have Catwolf head Oh, that came off very easily. That's the last time I'm gonna have Catwolf head on there because we need proper Steve Rogers, the real Steve Rogers. Now let me just, I, I need to try and be very careful because I'm surrounded obviously by my cabinet. So if I bash my elbows into them, I'll be staying up very late to <laughs> fix all of my display. Because could you imagine trashing your display and just going to bed, leaving it like that? Sleepless nights, 
okay, that's that's better. And it's a very different head sculpt. You know, they both look typically sort of stoic cap, but this one, as is designed, looks a lot more Alex Ross-ish. And this one looks more, I would say, Ron Garney ish which is again so quintessentially 90s so i, I like the uh the eyebrows I'm, i need i need the pointing hand to point out i like the yellow eyebrows poking through i think that's a really nice touch so again that's something i consider very 90s comic book cap i remember reading some captain america appearances when he would appear uh they might be onslaught stories and whatnot you can see his his yellow eyebrows and i was like ah I never really thought about how those would show through, through the mask, that, that makes sense. So now I've got to say, this cap, because I know that he is supposed to have the shoulder straps, looks a little naked without them. So, you know, you're kind of, I feel like you're robbing Peter to pay Paul, but Paul does look pretty sexy with these, so it's a fair trade-off. Now, there's another cap, just like, like this, which is the vintage cap. And he has sort of a crisscross pattern, which sort of makes like the fish scale armor. So I kind of miss that this guy doesn't, but ah, it's okay. Let's just put them side by side now. Also that, that figure comes with the, whoosh, the swishing shield too. Uh, but here we go, side by side. These caps are pretty cool, but yeah, put your arm down, Steve. You don't need to have that there. That's better. And we'll put the strap back on here. Gosh, it, it's amazing how much longer I can do these videos for when I'm not going at 10,000 miles an hour. I hope, you, I hope you're enjoying this. This is going to be a slightly longer unboxing. I've just done the one figure. But the other ones are going to be a little bit quicker. This was the one that had the most going on with it. So, get that out of the way. Let me pop our little cat wolf head there. <laughs> Those are my squishy boots. If you haven't seen the Mighty Boosh, I highly recommend watching the Mighty Boosh. Right, that was the first one. That was Cap. So, with the uh, Carnage crew, I still need, well, we still need Hasbro to release Firestar as the main one. Firestar will almost complete the Spider-Man team. There's also, um, oh, his name always escapes me. The, the guy who was pretty much a Spawn ripoff. Dark something or, oh, I don't know. He only appears like an issue or two, I think. Uh, and then on the Carnage side, we really need Scream. Uh, no, no, not Scream, Shriek. We need Treak and Carry On. The fact we haven't had those two yet is kind of baffling. And then also we need, who was it? Oh, no, we're getting 90s Morbius. I was gonna be happy with old school Morbius, but we're actually getting 90s Morbius, so that's awesome. Right, moving on. Because I've been going for 12 minutes already. The next box is gonna be an addition, I think. Ah, ha, ha, yes. An addition to my D-list, Legion of Losers. Look at this guy, Rock Python. I was gonna say Copperhead because actually I so don't know these characters at all. Uh, but no, this this is Rock Python. I've, I've never really read much Cap or anything. I think they're all Captain America villains, the Serpent Society. So I gotta read some wikis and get up to date. I didn't really, like, I didn't want this figure as such. Well, then why did you buy him, Dave? Because I'm impulsive. Because, I, because I'm a collector. That's why we all do this. But yeah, I wanted this figure because it's like, oh, there's a, t there's a group, there's a team, there's an army. I can build these guys. So this is, this is my new addition to the Serpent Society following on from King Cobra. So let's bust him out. Oh, let's just read the blurb. So he is a mercenary working out of Africa. Ngula adopts the name Rock Python and joins the slithering villain enterprise known as the Serpent Society. And there's the artwork on the back. Quite quite nice artwork, but also just kind of ridiculous as well, because he looks ridiculous. Look at that hat, that helmet. I'm not good. He, it looks, yeah, it, it, it looks like that. It's not, it's not a good look. You know, he, he really leaves the house dressed like that. And some, some costumes, will translate to the silver screen. Some costumes you think, that would never work. All right, I, I love getting them in the box, because we had the plastic crack. Oh, so satisfying. And here he is, here is Rock Python. Rock Python! Kind of like Rock Lobster, that's what I was singing. Okay. 
Uh, what have we got to say about this? Not, not a lot. He, he's a bizarre, he's a bizarre character, a bizarre figure. Uh, he's got a grimace, at least. Well done, Hasbro, you're getting better. You gave him a as opposed to a so that's something. Um, the the paint job is nice and bold, nice clean lines. That, that's very good. A, a nice silly looking happy snake. That, that That's a happy snake. He, that's not threatening at all. Uh, he has grippy hands that are gripping nothing. So thanks for that. Hasbro, when are you going to stop doing that? Like just stop 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 having having this you know it's what well, it's just it, it, it's it's not useful to anyone uh but the head articulates nicely you got looking up and down I, oh gosh I'm, I'm doing articulation i always bitch about people who do articulation because it's like well of course it, you know of course the legs bend at the knee you know you don't need to show us that and here i am like look folks the head goes left and right but it's probably because there's nothing else to really talk about with this figure i mean here it is it's rock python he's got a silver belt it's a separate piece because, of course, this is a, a reused body from a bajillion things. Is this Bucky Cap? He feels too too big to be Bucky Cap. I don't know. I still can't identify the different bodies. But still, we have Rock Python here, and he, again, he's he's fine. He's completely goofy. When I eventually get to him one day in my Legends Legacy review, I don't think he's going to be ranking too highly. Spoiler: I don't think he's going to crack the top ten. But let's put him with his buddy here. I'll move Bullseye across a little bit because so I was just using him for scale to get like the, the the angle of the camera right and everything. So here is King Cobra, and he's with his buddy. So it it's like you know if, if you're gonna go out looking stupid, you want your mate to go out with you also looking stupid. So it's like look, I'm not on my own. Look, as, as, as dumb as I look, I'm with stupid. So that's kind of a fun pair. So we, you know, if we throw in uh, Cotton Mouth, I've got, I've got, I ordered Cotton Mouth on eBay. Well, I, I did an auction. So if I win that, because I only want them cheap, I don't want to. This, this was cheap. I don't want to spend a, a lot of money on, on these figures. They're just fun, stupid D-list characters. Uh, they're not worth me like shelling out money, money for. So if I win Cotton Mouth. Great. Then maybe eel. Eel seems a little harder to come by. Eel might be slightly more expensive. I don't really want to spend money on eel. But he does have the nice electro hands, so we'll see. We'll see. That would complete the team, sort of. I'm sure there are other characters. Are there other Serpent Society characters I'm missing? Comment below, let me know. Alright, finally, the last box. I'm kind of been lingering over this. If, if you're still watching, kudos to you, because we're having fun here. Um, yeah, the final box from Comics and Cocktails. Our, our good brothers at Comics and Cocktails. Let's see what we've got. I know what we've got, because I ordered it. Still not Kingpin yet, but that's okay, they get a free pass on that. And Mysterio too. So, nice packaging. We're going Cosmic, because yeah, I've I've fallen down the cosmic rabbit hole and it's 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 a big rabbit hole, but it's a fun one. I, I'm not mad about it. Now that I've got Cosmic Ghost Rider and you know I, I've got Death's Head 2. Look at that, I got the name correct. How about that? It's time to get a little more cosmic. It's time for Genis Val. Genis Vel? Genis Vel. Excuse me. Genis Vel, a character who again I don't know much about. I was originally considering getting him a while ago because I thought he would be a good kind of stand-in for the Dark Avengers because it's Marvel Boy in the Dark Avengers. And I, they, they, we, folks, I'm sorry, we ain't getting the Marvel Boy, I don't think, not anytime soon. So I thought a Kree-type character would be a good sort of fill-in, you know? But now that we're going, we're, we're officially, David Displays is officially going cosmic. So I thought, let's get him. Let's go, just, just go and get him, because I did, I, I like how pretty he looks. Because I saw a review and I was like, oh, he's not just painted, he's sparkly. And I like sparkly figures. So, let's just dig the knife in and not sever any arteries. And here we go. Oh, let me read the back. Genisfell, this is all new information for me. Born of a titan... Titanian? Eternal. Genisfell possesses indomitable strength and uses powerful negabands to channel incredible energy blasts. Now help me out. Is this 
Did Rick Jones have a thing where he was like doing a body swap, body sharing thing where he had the mega bands and he'd bang them together and become Janice Bell or Captain Marvel? That was a thing, wasn't it? I didn't imagine that. Let, let me know. Or just let me go and wiki it like I'm a capable human being who can do it. I'm just being lazy. <laughs> I was just being lazy. Okay. He looks, he looks good. Look, he is sparkly. I knew he was sparkly. I knew it wasn't just a paint job. There's actual little sparkles on this. He looks fabulous. <laughs> he's, a, he's a fabulous sparkly boy. Let's get that plastic crack. <sighs> Satisfying. So I got the build a bigger piece as well. I don't think I need a crease entry. Uh, I'm going cosmic, but I'm not going that cosmic. So this is, do, do you need a sentry leg? Because someone can hit me up. You can, you can have a sentry leg. But, oh gosh, he, he didn't fare too well. Ouch, that's gonna leave a mark. There we go, there we go. He, he, he's better now. And here is Janice Bell out of the packaging. And I love the Centurion, the 300 type helmet. That looks cool. See, that's what a cool helmet looks like. Not like what you've got. That's badass. That's kind of fun and funky. That's like a Magneto style helmet. When, I bet like when the Centurions, all those you know, hundreds of thousands of years ago, like designed their first helmet, the first guy who ever designed this helmet must have like stepped back and gone, yeah, I think I'm onto something here. Because here, all these years later, it's still being used because it just looks wicked. And look at the sparkle. Look, woof, it's like a galaxy back here. Look at all the sparkliness going on there. I am, I'm loving this. This is really good. Again, I need to read more stories so I can actually appreciate the character more because right now he's just a pretty figure. And being a pretty figure, I've got plenty of time just for a pretty face. That's fine. I'm a, I'm a very shallow and superficial person. Let's, uh, he has, he had a gun, didn't he? He had a gun somewhere. Well, I bought this new, so it couldn't have gone too far. I'm not going to look for it now, because this video is going to be like half an hour by the time I'm finished, and you don't want to hang around while I look for a gun. I must have popped it out when I was doing the plastic crack. I'll find it. It's not going to be another Moon Knight sickle debacle. So, moving on. I'm going to place Janice Bell right here next to Captain America. Nah, I'll, you, you know what, actually, <laughs> you guys must know me so well. That's really bugging me that I've, I've lost this gun. I'm gonna go find it. And we're back, and I found the gun. It's, it's not the most impressive laser space age gun in the world. It's very kind of pew pew kind of thing, but it's fine. It was in the cardboard box. There you go, I didn't have to look too far. All right, last figure now. Last figure for this batch, and what a batch it is. This is a, this is a good unboxing. So, finally. We have the other Captain Marvel, Marvel. There's, I gotta, I gotta learn and understand all these Marvels better. This, this, this is the one who who died, I think. Did he get better? I mean, they, they tend to get better, but I'm gonna have to do my research and and figure it out. So let's take a little look at what it says on the back as well. I'm gonna, I was gonna try and be clever, but my eyesight's not good enough to read it like that. So, and I quote. The powers of flight, superhuman strength, and stamina make Marvel a celebrated warrior. Thanks, Hasbro. That fills in all the gaps. <laughs> Why do you even bother? <laughs> Captain Marvel is a character who appears in comic books. Thanks. That, that tells me everything I need to know. All right, here we go. <sighs> you know, I, 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 I almost had all the abomination parts from this wave, but I was like, I, I sold them because I'm like, it's Gamerverse. I don't, I don't want to collect Gamerverse. The, the Avengers game is not here. I'm not hearing good things, you know. Uh, so I'm sure I'll probably play it at some point. I'm sure people are having some fun with it, but it's like general. The general gist is that people aren't too hot on it. So I don't think there's going to be too much affection for those those figures. Watch now as they skyrocket in price, and I'll be like, ah. Anyway, I'm not going to lament it. I'm just waiting for them to release that abomination with the comic book head as a deluxe figure. Then, then that'll be my turn. Okay, ready for the plastic crack? There you go. And 
and here is Captain Marvel. Now, this was a character, again, before I even went cosmic, I did kind of want this guy because I just love how bright and bold everything is about him. And that's something, I love things that brighten up the display, colors that pop, you know, straight angles and lines and, you know, red, blue, yellow, all bursting out from, from the chest. This looks really, really cool. And he's got his mega bands on his wrists. He's mm, very, very plain face. Not a lot going on with the face. That's that's a shame. But he can he can be a stoic character. You know, we can have we can have some stoicism. There's nothing wrong with that. I, from what I understand, he is quite a stoic by the by the numbers kind of character. Business business type of character. He's in the business of doing business, and business is booming. So I just kind of straightened out his his arms and his legs. There, they were kind of going all all skew with. But yeah, this is kind of a fun little gimmick going on here. I, I, I'll read up. I need to read up because I remember, I vividly can remember the front cover of yeah, The Death of Captain Marvel. So I need to actually see uh, if he got better, if he came back, or if he is dead, if this is a new Captain Marvel, or if we're just going back in time with this figure. What's the deal? What's the deal with Captain Marvel? Well, we're going to find out. So that's another reason I love collecting figures is it's it encourages me to go and read and find out about all this different stuff, all this Marvel history, because I was so ingrained in like Spider-Man, 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 because I could only afford so many comics when I was growing up. So it was like, I, I just got to get Spidey and a little bit of X-Men and various other things. I collect too much. But yeah, Captain Marvel here, um, I'm happy with that. No accessories, like at all. So that's kind of a shame. It's like, yeah, but you get the build a figure piece. Well, yeah, but if you're not building the build a figure piece, then it's worthless. All right, that's a whole other argument for another time. But in the meantime, Captain Marvel looks pretty cool here. And I guess like, you know, his name is Captain Marvel, so he really should kind of get pride of place in the display here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to stand him. Crash, bang, wallop, what a video. I don't know what that was that fell over, but I hope it wasn't expensive. All right, I'm gonna see, you, you guys don't wanna like watch me just try and pose or balance figures, that's not a very exciting video. <laughs> I can hear you now, now going, this in general wasn't a very exciting video, Dave. Do you prefer my like just crazy high energy scattershot performance? Cause I could probably go back to that. The videos would be shorter, which probably wouldn't be a bad thing. But folks, here is my unboxing. One thing I will keep is certainly this setup. This seems to work really well. I'm, I'm gonna stick with this, uh, but guys, here we go. So we have Bullseye Dyson Count. He's been here for a while now. I still love this guy. But yeah, we have uh, Copperhead. Is it? Copperhead and Cottonmouth. That's it. Copperhead, King Cobra, who was there all along. Captain Marvel, Cap Wolf, um, 80th anniversary Cap, and Mar Marvel. And that is a pretty good unboxing for one night. So guys, we're just coming up to half an hour. Holy moly. Thanks for joining me on David Display's Model Behavior. I'll see you in the next episode. If, if you enjoyed this, I mean, it, you, you've committed if you've got, got this far, then please do subscribe to the channel, comment in the feedback. We've got some, I love the discussions and uh, you know, the debates and the banter we have going on there. That's so much fun. So yeah, like, subscribe, share if you like, that would be even better either way. Thank you so much for your support. And until next time, keep displaying model behavior. If you enjoyed this video, then I'd really appreciate it if you go ahead and hit the like button. And if you really enjoyed this video and you want to see more, then join the 61 Clicks by clicking the subscribe button and don't miss a single episode of Model Behavior.